Monday was the first day for potential candidates for public office to pull papers in order to run. One of the very first to do so, Joy San Buenaventura. The Hilo attorney has her sights set on Puna's state house seat, currently held by Faye Hanohano. We visited Joy at her Hawaiian Paradise Park home over the weekend, where she was particularly keen to show us around her sustainable backyard, along with her husband, Sheldon Lehman. For the people of Puna, I intend to pull my papers and give an alternative candidate for the District of Puna, House District 4. We've got mulberries. My mom was born in Waikapu. I grew up in Honolulu. I was born in Manila, but I grew up in Honolulu. Um, went to school in the mainland and have been back here. Um, we've been living here in the Big Island since 1984, arrived at the time when Mauna Loa was erupting. And, you know, we, we found it to be a sign that this was going to be home. We have chosen to live in Puna. I mean, we own a house in Hilo. We own property in other places. And we have chosen to live in Puna because this is where the sun rises. This is where you can grow, as you can tell, all of the vegetables. We, we grow our own salads. Um, we grow our own fruit. We also grow our own florals. And so our photovoltaics are producing far more energy than we even need to use right now. Puna transportation concerns top her to-do list. We feel, I feel that the biggest problem in KL, which hasn't been addressed, is transportation. Highway 130 is the longest cul-de-sac. Uh, the current administration has been around for four terms and hasn't really addressed the problem. I see that it's being expanded. An alternate route is sorely needed. It is a question of health and safety. There is going to be a problem eventually of evacuation. Highway 130 is one of the most accident prone. I've looked at the county plan and all they've talked about is exploring an alternate route. Um, the State Department of Transportation has had meetings here and no one has talked about actually making a decision on creating such a route. It needs to be addressed. The State Department of Transportation says it needs to be part of the state improvement program in order to get federal funds. That needs to be done. San Buenaventura has been a Big Island attorney for more than 30 years. At the age of 32, the Democrat was also the youngest person in Hawaii to serve as a district per diem judge. As a legislator, San Buenaventura would push for alternative dispute resolution in Hawaii. The homeowners are butting heads with homeowners associations. It's also a big thing in Hilo. The country, it, it results in lawsuits. Monies that should be in the community should stay in the community or homeowner associations should stay in infrastructure rather than being spent in legal fees. One of the things that I'm proposing, should I get in, would be having a state ombudsman so that these kinds of disputes need not be escalated in to the judiciary. Lawyers can make money somewhere else. I mean, I'm a lawyer, that's how I make a living, but money should stay in the community instead of in legal fees. Alternative, mean, alternative dispute resolutions need to be addressed. You know, we can't have papaya farmers who work their land have their papaya trees be mowed down for some dispute. There needs to be an outlet. She also has a number of ideas to help Hawaii's so-called working poor. Be people being foreclosed left and right. Some um, of those ideas were introduced we at San Buenaventura's urging by Senator Gil Cahele, for whom she campaigned in 2012. One of the things that um, has gotten from the Senate down to the state that I've asked Senator Cahele to introduce is also limiting the interest of the check cashing and the payday loans. Right now, they're allowed to get 15% per paycheck, which translates to around 400% per year. They were able to get an exemption from the usury laws. Those loans specifically target the working poor. They're the ones who live paycheck to paycheck, which apparently according to the latest 
latest polls have shown to be the majority of people now after the Great Recession. The legislative bill that's now in the House with um, Representative Suji and hopefully will get out for a vote limits those interests to 39 percent. Conservative states like Arizona have banned them altogether. We're doing baby steps. Right the state now, primary election will be held August 9th of this year.